Uh, a wart is actually uh, it's a localized viral infection of the skin, um, which uh, forms a little tumor, and uh, the, the cells of the wart have actually uh, the, the, have, are bursting full of um, wart virus. So what's what's actually in this lump? Um, so sort of quite re well, slightly abnormal cells together right. with wart virus. Because it's quite squishy sometimes, that means it's yeah. full of Plus it, it actually overproduces keratin, that, that's what happens to the cells, they overproduce keratin and that's why you get the sort of crusty sort of right, so sensation up to it actually. And uh, how could I have caught, how could I have caught the wart? Um, they, they are infectious, probably through shaking hands with somebody who really? has, ha, who's had a wart. Um, or, or something like that. They, they are. They do tend to be a bit infectious. So, so can I pass it on? Yes, it is possible to pass on, but they're not very infectious. They right. just. They, they do happen to, you know. You know, it's not. It's not as though. I, I mean, I, I can touch it, and it's not necessarily going to pass on to me. But right. It. It sometimes will. So I've been touching my bit with my mouth and stuff. Yeah. Like, you can, it can. So it, I might get. What's my you, you quite often find though that you you. Certain wart viruses are specific to the particular area of the body that they infect. Right. So you're not quite so likely to get oh, warts on the mouth from transfer, one on yeah. the... Yeah. And what's, what's the name for this sort of wart? Because I heard it was a, a seed wart. Or... Well, it's, it's just a... Um, I mean, it, it is just a straightforward wart, that one, right. actually, and it's not nothing... Um, I mean, we, we don't really call them seed warts ourselves. So just that, I mean, that is just a wart. I just mean, a buzzword. Yeah, I mean... You can get warts on the bottom of your feet, and they're called verrucas. Right, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and sometimes the other ones that you can get are on the bottom of the feet are mosaic warts, which actually sort of spread out. All right, all so across I've, got, the I've got one of them on my foot as well, but I yeah. can't be able to deal with that one. Um, <laughs> and what? How about if people want to try to get rid of them themselves? What, did you, what would you say to them? I mean, certainly it, it's worthwhile trying the proprietary um, like bazooka. medicated bazooka yeah, and things like that. that. Yeah. But sometimes they don't work. Sometimes they do work, and it's, it's worth them. Um, you know, sort of. What about burning? Is uh, that a good option? No, that's that that, that doesn't uh, do any good really. I think the main thing is uh, using these preparations, which are mostly have got salicylic acid in, which is um, okay. a, a keratolytic, and uh, I mean, quite often they will um, sort of just go by themselves eventually. Yeah, I've heard that they just yeah. disappear yeah. all yeah, of a sudden. That's right. They, they they will do, but they can be a bit of a nuisance. Um, so get rid of them. So how does the, how does the freezing process work? Right, basically what happens is that this freezes the, the, the normal cells that are packed, stuff packed with um, virus, yeah. uh, as well as some of the cells around it. it comes out of the, the, the virus then comes out of the cells because it, it, it disrupts the cell membranes right. and allows the, your own uh, immune system to take care of, try and take care of the wart virus. Because okay, so it can't take care of it within the cell. Right, so it's going to freeze it, yep. and it like dies, and will it drop off, or will I have to pick it off? Or? Um, well, you find that it, it will. It might blister. It, sometimes you find that it blisters after you you, you have this. Sometimes so it's going to look it even worse. It's going well, to initially, yes, yeah, sometimes, <laughs> um, and then sometimes it just sort of you, you, you sort of it, it just peels off, sort of almost at times. Will I have to make um, another appointment? You may very well need more than that okay. for that particular one. Actually, it's not not one that I would. I would say we will go first first uh, effort. How will we know then? We just have to book another appointment? Yeah, I, I'd, I'd book another appointment for about two or three weeks' time to have okay. another one done, have it done again. Okay. Um, and is it, is it going to hurt, the freezing process? It does a little bit, as I say. It, it, it's a little bit like putting putting your hand in, in the freezer on a bit of cold, frozen metal and, and it sticks to it. And it <laughs> okay. All right, let's do it. That's like, yeah. I've so got my hand. Basically, if we can just have it just over there and... If I if I tip this up, it, it vents out, so it gets rid of the, the liquid. I'm not going to watch because I might be scared. Right, so. Yeah, that's hurting about now.
I can officially say that hurt. <laughs> yep. There you go. That's got all right. That's the frozen ice block there. You see it on the camera. Right, so now um, I just don't touch it. Yep, yeah, you do nothing with it now. As I say, it sometimes can blister up, sometimes it doesn't, it varies. And uh, as I say, I book another appointment for about two weeks or so, two or three weeks, and we'll do it again at that stage.